we have been married. It'll be 18 years in about a week and a half, two weeks. Uh, we have two boys, Jackson, 16, and Carter, 12. They're both great boys. Jake Norman, you can hear it in his voice, a proud husband, dad, and Boise police officer. Last month, his family's world was rocked. His wife, Erin, suffered a debilitating stroke while they were on vacation in Bend. Family, friends, and the police department have rallied around Jake to give him time to focus on his wife and the boys. Our Maggie O'Mara has the story tonight in Seven's Hero. So I've been employed uh, with the city as a sworn police officer for a little over 13 years now. Boise police officer Jake Norman loves his job. I love it. I mean, I've had some hard days, but overall, the city is very uh, supportive of their police force and the department is great to work for. He also loves being a husband and dad. He was on vacation in Bend, Oregon last month with his wife, Erin, and their two boys when the unthinkable happened. It was the last night of our vacation uh, just outside of Bend in Oregon. She uh, was excited to go for one more bike ride before we went home. And so we went on the bike ride and as the doctors explained it to me, she had a spontaneous dissection of her carotid artery, which is basically where a little flap opens up inside the artery, which the doctor believes led to uh, cutting off the supply of blood to her brain, which then uh, caused her to, we believe, begin to lose consciousness. And that just so happened to be at the top of a hill that was pretty steep. And so I think she lost consciousness on the top of the hill, was able to coast down to the bottom of the hill where she collided with a uh, tree. We called the paramedics once she got to the hospital. <clears throat> Part of the, a portion of the clot that was in her carotid artery broke off, uh, causing her to have a stroke. And that's really where uh, the more serious medical issues began. And uh, I, I think at, at that point, she was very close to losing her life. Jake credits the doctors at St. Charles Hospital in Bend for saving Erin's life. Several broken bones and surgeries later, she is now improving slowly. She's still in the hospital, still being treated. Um, but we're optimistic we can get her back here to the Valley and to her uh, friends and family and our kids uh, soon. Ever since Aaron's stroke, Jake has been taking vacation time to help take care of her in Bend. The department uh, thankfully and, and graciously said, don't worry about us. We will be fine uh, here without you while you tend to your family. And so it was uh, very nice of them to kind of take those worries off of my plate. We were also fortunate. We had a, a family friend that had an RV that they've been allowing me to use. So I'm able to stay at the hospital in their parking lot in an RV, so I'm close to my wife. I'm extremely grateful that uh, the department in the city has allowed me to do that. Her, her brain is beginning to mend, and uh, I, I can definitely see signs of her personality beginning to poke through and, and show again, which is very uh, heartening. One of the toughest parts of all this has been being away from her two boys, 16-year-old Carter and 12-year-old Jackson. At this point, it's been about a month since they've been able to see her uh, in person and hug her. And um, so the FaceTiming, the phone calls, things like that, those were all very helpful to the boys. Family and friends and Jake's fellow officers have all rallied around this family with love and donations. And it means so much. It's been extremely humbling. Um, it's easier for me to help people sometimes than it is to be helped. We were assisted and helped out with a GoFundMe I'm also a member of the FOP, the Fraternal Order of Police here in Boise, in the Treasure Valley. Uh, they have a yearly policeman's ball and they were able to raise some money for my wife and I. And so I'm extremely grateful to them. Again, people that I know, people that I don't know, offering again to reach out to help us in any way that they can. This week, there was a very special and emotional reunion for Erin and her two sons. I said that the second your mother sees you again, she's going to burst into tears. <laughs> so be ready for that. But um, she misses them dearly. Uh, she loves them and they love her. I know the boys miss their mom. Uh, the boys miss, I think, their family, as I do, just the family being whole again. And 
We're missing one of the most important parts. Erin is the heart of this family, and the goal is to get her back to Boise as soon as possible to continue her recovery. She is a constant inspiration as she battles her way back. And Jake says his family just couldn't do this without all the amazing support from our community. If there is any positive experience, I think the time that my wife and I have been allowed to spend together, uh, me being able to help her in any way that I can and watch her recover has been extremely, uh, extremely helpful. And I'm extremely grateful for that opportunity. I, I don't know that I'll ever be able to properly thank all of these people. They are all Sevens heroes. For sure they are. Jake went back to work this week after taking several weeks off. He's still trying to get Aaron home. If you'd like more information on how to help Officer Norman and his family during this very difficult time, just go to the story on our website at ktpp.com.